Tonight, a San Antonio couple is growing desperate to find their two golden retrievers. A pet sitter lost the dogs four weeks ago today. Eyewitness News reporter Roxy Bustamante shows us how the owners even reached out to pet detectives to find their beloved animals. Trisha Sauce has been looking for her two missing dogs, Acoria and Ripley, every day for the past four weeks. At this point, nobody's seen them. Using the Rover app, she hired a pet sitter who lost the pair while taking them for a walk at the sitter's apartment complex. They were last seen running toward this intersection at Camp Bullis and Babcock. This is the first time that we've ever used a sitter outside the family and our best friends. Um, we were really nervous about it, but Rover assured us that they would be safe. Since then, Trisha and her husband have checked shelters daily, put out hundreds of flyers, and posting on several social media pages. They've even tried hiring pet detectives. It just didn't really work out because it seemed like a lot of money. And at the same time, we talked to another one in San Diego and she said we were doing everything we could. Jen Mundy is an animal behaviorist in San Antonio. Mostly people seem to um, forget that the only, there's only one person who knows their animals and that's them. She says when it comes to looking for pet detectives, there is not an industry standard. Owners need to be cautious. Dog owners need to get online, talk to their neighbors, just bombard as many people as you possibly can, visit every shelter because those dogs aren't going to be, you know, homeless for long. Roxy joins us live. Roxy, how much did the pet detective want to charge to help find the dogs? I'm told the business based out of Dallas, which uses bloodhounds to track down the lost dogs, quoted the couple more than $1,000. Now the consultation with the other pet detective was free and the couple says they are still exploring the option as they continue to look for their beloved dogs. Deborah.